when you sit around on the couch uh, for an extended period of time and you try to go back out and run and you don't use those muscles, um, that you have, a, you have weakness and deterioration in those muscles if you don't use them. And because we don't need our legs when we get here to space to just to even support our own body weight, um, we have to be very, very vigilant uh, with, um, with maintaining these protocols and to, to make sure that when we get back to the planet, uh, we can actually stand up and, um, and walk around. So, so uh, the first uh, bit of equipment I wanted to show you is here in the U.S. laboratory. And it's the Sevis, it's a stationary bicycle. And um, it's, it's very similar to, uh, to a regular bicycle that you might see like in a spinning class or something like this. Um, this one's a little bit different, of course, because here in space it's, it's floating around. And so we try to, um, uh, in order not to impart um, unusual loads uh, into the structure and also into your body, that would be a little bit awkward to try to pedal if it was fixed uh, to the surface. Um, are part of the surface here in space. We use these isolation mounts and uh, they're mounted at each of the four corners. You can see that we have, uh, it allows for um, play and, uh, and, and uh, motion in th all, all the different axes, up, down, left, and right, in and out. And, um, and so as you're, as you're cycling on the bike, um, it, will, uh, it will move around as well. Um, and the way, the way that we get onto Sevis now, I've got my harness here. I wanted to show you this. Uh, a lot of people, and it's, it's really uh, up to the crew uh, particular crew member, but, um, uh, but to get on the bike, we have handles to hold onto and also a back pad here. And um, most folks uh, will, will go without the harness, but you can use a harness, and I, I tend to use a harness on here. So um, this is our harness that we're given to, um, to pull us down onto the treadmill as well. And um, I'll show you that in just a few minutes. But uh, uh, I use this harness on the Sevis as well to kind of keep me keep me stationary on here because uh, I tend to, if it gets rocking kind of high, I would actually end up hitting my head uh, up here if I uh, if I wasn't uh, pulled down to the right tension. So so I'll use these uh, these straps on here and. Um, Strap myself to the Tevis, or Sevis, I'm sorry. And then also we have the, just the biking shoes that are already clipped in. And each one of us, you can see there, we have the biking shoes lined up there that each crew member has their own set of biking shoes, of course. And then, um, uh, of course, a uh, very important um, part of our team is our, our doctors and uh, trainers that are on uh, on the ground and they help us out and they actually monitor the um, um, our fitness and we use this system here you may have uh, may have be familiar with this it's the um, it's a polar watch uh, polar watch that we measures your your uh, heart heart rate and um, to use this we have this chest strap and uh, this transmitter that we uh, click to chest strap when we, before each aerobic exercise, especially the Sevis and the T2 um, treadmill. We'll hook this together and this mounts on the front of your chest and then you have this uh, polar watch uh, which you'd wear on your wrist or replace it somewhere where the transmitter is in direct line so it'll read the transmitter. And of course that will read your um, your uh, your data, heart rate data as you uh, and record that for you when we, we downlink that. Uh, to the ground and so they're able to um, to uh, help build uh, protocols for us and and just kind of monitor our fitness level and um, and step things up if we need to or uh, just kind of bring things back a little bit uh, to keep in line with the with the um, with the structure that they want to have for us so when we uh, uh, when we get back to the planet that everything is is uh, is right on for us so what what we do here we put that equipment on and then uh, we get up onto the onto the bicycle, the Sevis, and uh, I would don my don my harness, and um, then come up into the into the Sevis. And this uh, the way that we the way that we uh, adjust the uh, the exercise uh, level is. Um, we have a, uh, a control box here that uh, we actually have our own uh, data card that we put in here 
it's got protocols that are loaded in there for us. And uh, we changed the, changed the loading on the cycle, uh, much like a stationary bike that you'd see in the gym or something. Um, and uh, we can do interval training or, um, or just uh, uh, scale, scaled um, uh, training in the, on the bicycle uh, to, a, uh, um, to, a, to a given wattage or load level on the, um, on the bike. And so we'd snap in like this and I'd, I'd go ahead and bu buckle this harness for this demonstration. I won't get fully suited up, but um, uh, we'll bring this together like this and, and we're ready to go. And usually uh, we have a, we have a um, computer here that we can, if you'd like to listen to music uh, while you're cycling, uh, you could do that. You could plug into this computer and play music or watch a movie or something. And then over here, of course, our uh, data card is, is located in here and that, that collects data for our trainers and our doctors on the ground. And uh, we'll download that data and they'll keep track of uh, our fitness on the, uh, on the Sevis bicycle. Of course, you then start pedaling and, um, and you, we usually will maintain, we have a target uh, RPM that we have on the cycle and also uh, uh, time. Usually we'll have at least a 30 minute workout on this on this uh, Cebus.